Hi, today we're going to talk about the process for writing. The writing process involves several steps. We can break them down into pre-writing, writing, post-writing, post and then the final product. Let's take a look at the process. It starts with pre-writing. In this phase, we have steps such as brainstorming ideas, selecting ideas, and organizing ideas. It's a thinking process. So during the brainstorming phase, take and keep notes. Start with ideas. Write down everything that comes to your mind. You're not going to use all of the ideas, but you're going to find out what's in your brain so that you can use these ideas later. The next step is to select ideas. This is what I call choose to use. Focus on your topic. Use those ideas that are going to be relevant to your topic. Avoid distractions. Don't get off on a different topic. The next phase is organize your ideas. Make an outline. Put some structure to those ideas that you have selected. Here are a couple of sample outlines. The basic outline that we learn is introduction, body, and conclusion. Now, the body is the biggest part of your paper. And sometimes you can organize it like this. First point, second point, and third point. And then give details and more information on each of those points. For more academic papers, sometimes you can do it like this. Background, discussion, and conclusions or recommendations. During the discussion phase, you can talk about your methods for doing an experiment, for example, the results of the experiment, and the analysis of that experiment. Other outlines are past, present, future. This is really good for doing your college application essays. Talk about where you came from what you learned, where you are now, and what you plan to do in the future. For business and case studies, we often do problem analysis solution. A variation on that would be background of the problem, discussion of several different kinds of solutions, talking about the pros and cons, and then finally giving your recommendations as to which solution is best. The next phase is writing. This is your main part, composing ideas. Add words to the structure that you have organized, to the outline that you have. Put ideas into words, sentences, and paragraphs. The next step is post-writing. Here's where you revise and edit your ideas. At this phase, you can exchange papers with a classmate. In my class, I say you may collaborate with a partner. Let them read your paper and you read theirs. I also allow my students to use a thesaurus at this point because it helps you choose better words. What's the difference between revising and editing? Revising is focusing on content. So you look at the paragraphs and you say, can we expand this? Can we add more ideas? Or maybe we might need to delete some ideas that are irrelevant. Or sometimes we can rearrange ideas or move them around from one part of the paragraph to another. So look at your paper paragraph by paragraph to see how well you're presenting the ideas. Editing is what we sometimes call proofreading. This is where you're looking at it word by word, checking your grammar, spelling, word choice, things like that. Sometimes you want to fix the format of the paper. 
the next stage is to submit the paper, turn it in. Now in my class, I have students submit it by Canvas upload. Then I, as an instructor, can give them feedback. So the next stage is to receive feedback from your instructor. I like to highlight the mistakes or the places where the paper can be improved. So students look at the highlights or the comments from your instructor. The next stage is to make corrections. Do your best to fix the mistakes or make corrections based on the suggestions or highlights from the instructor. For my class, in this phase, I let them use tools such as Grammarly or ChatGPT because this is where it's most useful to polish up those types of things that they need to improve on their papers. Here's an example for making corrections electronically on Canvas. I will highlight a mistake or something good that could be changed on the paper and then over there in the box on the right, students can make their corrections or revisions. Number seven is meet with the instructor. instructor. Show or tell what you have learned. This is a good place to ask questions. Discuss how you can improve your paper. Finally, keep going. Keep reading, keep writing, keep learning, and keep improving. Each paper should be better than the one before. It's a process over the semester. You want to improve step by step, week by week, day by day. And by the end of the semester, you'll have much better papers and you'll be a much better writer than you were at the beginning. That's the goal of this course. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, Check out youtube.com at English Free For You or eslgold.com slash humix. Or check out our websites for more free English learning resources, eslgold.com and freeenglishstudy.com.